Hey guys, Alex Auger from Crop Productions, and I have a simple yet elaborate uh, intro tutorial for you today. Uh, this is this is very simple, easy to do. If you just want that really cool, fast intro, now um, I'd like to start this tutorial off that I have a cool new mic. Um, yeah, so you can now hear my voice, and you know, <laughs> crystal clear HD. Yeah, what's up, baby? What's up? Anyway, not to make things awkward, uh, you know, I got a mic, hope it sounds better, and actually I know it sounds better, ha <laughs> ha, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, here I am in Sony Vegas Pro 9, and the first thing we're going to do is go to the top, click insert, and click uh, video track, and then we'll go back to insert and click text media. Oh, let's... Uh throw this in there if cool Vegas is not responding us up oh, here we go here we are with the uh, text media generator box we'll type in what we want I'm gonna put in bra productions and then uh, my font I'm gonna be using like I use in all my tutorials is freak out go bananas um, you can find this type it in on Google whichever you'll find it somewhere or use your own cool font I recommend I recommend being original and unique, but that's just me. So we're going to close it to that, and this intro is going to be roughly 10 seconds long. So we're going to go ahead and just start dragging the end of the broad production clip on the timeline. We're going to drag it out to 10 seconds. Um, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the Video Effects tab and go to the News Print Effect. Um, let's see where that is in the ends, obviously. And then we're just going to add one of these. doesn't really matter because these are all just presets and we can change the settings in this box. Now, um, for type, we're going to go to offset color. Now, you can do any of these that you like. I just find offset color the most uh, eye-popping, I would say. Now, for keyframing, we're going to keyframe it on and then to off. So, at the very beginning, we're going to set the dot size to the largest amount. And we're going to go to the end, or rather, to the five seconds, and bring it down until we see Broad Productions again, which is at zero. Now, we can right-click on the keyframe and click Smooth, making a nice, subtle, slow smooth into the Broad Productions when the keyframe is ending rather than uh, an abrupt linear um, end. It'll just make the overall video look nicer. So we're going to close out of this. Or first we can check this, make sure just run it through this and make sure everything looks alright and it does. So we're going to close out of that and then back to the video effects tab we're going to go up just a tad and go to the light rays. Uh, we'll go ahead and just add one on here. Click OK. I added the weak light rays, if you didn't see. Not that it really matters, because we're going to change some uh, parameters. But, back to the story. Now, um, light rays is very cool. It makes it very uh, um, eye-popping as well. God, this eye-popping all over the place. Please don't lose your eyes. That wouldn't be good. So, we're going to put the strength up. You can put this to wherever you like. I'm going to go ahead and put it at... 0 0.7 <clears throat> as the start out parameter and then we'll go down to about where the newsprint ends and set it down not to 0 but just so it pops out just a little bit I would say um, okay I am getting a phone call uh, hello Why would you hang up on me? dude I didn't hang up on you I didn't hang up on you. Shut up. Um, anyway, a little off topic there. Where was I? Um, God, did I really hang up on him? I don't know. Guess it doesn't matter. You know what's cooler? Light rays. That's what's cooler. Don't tell your friends that. Because they might think you're a loser if you say light rays are cooler than something else. God. Okay. Well, I feel like I'm a loser right now. So anyway... We have the light rays down. We're going to set it to 0 0.04. And oh, I think we accidentally 
set two keyframes. You know, we did. So make sure you set the right one the first time and on the same uh, time in the timeline. So now the light rays go from large to small, as does the newsprint. Um, and we're actually going to go back to this. Make sure we'll scroll down and with the uh, scroll wheel on your mouse, and we'll go right back to the same keyframe on the timeline, and we'll move the light source, which is essentially where the light is shining from, to the very side. And make sure X is at zero, so you know you're in the middle of the text. Or if you have your text somewhere else on the screen, make sure it's in the middle of the text, because we're going to make it go across. And then, um, at about, um, we'll say, 8 seconds, we'll set another keyframe by just moving this back over there and so now the light ray moves across the text ooh fancy um, and then we will from the remainder from 8 seconds to 10 seconds we'll bring the strength down to 0 so it essentially goes away so now we have the light rays. As you can see, it's going down. Yada, yada, yada. Oh my gosh, light rays. How'd you do that? You're so good. And then they fade away. Now we can add a quick fade to the beginning. Make it about a two second fade, I would say. And then, oh, there it goes. And boom. That looks awesome. Now, this is just a quick intro, you know, mess with some of the uh, light rays or newsprint uh, parameters and make it your very own. <sighs> um, so that's about it. And for sound, like I had in the uh, preview, um, it's actually from a product from videocopilot.net. Um, the product they have is called Pro Scores, which is a bunch of cool music and sound effects you can use for your videos. It's not too pricey for what it offers. So uh, I recommend going to go buy it on videocopilot.net. But um, if you're if you're not interested in paying their price range, I also or Broad Productions rather has its own product entitled uh, Sony Vegas Tutorials and Essentials. And might I say it's pretty cool. Um, go check it out on broadproductions.net. And also on broadproductions.net, you can find free textures that you can use for a background for this video, any other video you have, or intro, whatever you feel like using it for. So make sure to go to broadproductions.net and look at the downloads page. It's pretty awesome, gotta say. Well, that's about it. Hope you guys liked it. Um, I know I sure did. Boy, golly, did I have fun. And it's almost Halloween. Uh, I know you'll be watching this video some other time besides Halloween, but if you look at the date I added it, it's almost Halloween. And can you say, party? Woo! Um, just kidding, I'm a loser. I sit at home and look at Sony Vegas. You guys have a great day.